Hey guys, this is Jamil and you are watching JDCAD. In this video tutorial, I will tell you how we can make a new viewport in AutoCAD and how we can set multiple windows in a single viewport. As you can see, this is my drawing that I want to show in my printout and this is the area of interest that I want to show zoomed in my print. I will go to layout 1 I will delete if there is any uh, existing viewport made I will say M V S E T U P M V setup enter it is asking enter an option I will go for a title block and then it is asking title block option I will say insert here it is asking multiple options which paper size you want to set for this viewport. For this one, I will go for A3 ISO. So I will enter 2, enter. It's asking if I should save a drawing. I will say no. Let's save for now. But in your case, you can say yes or whatever you want. Enter. A viewport is made. Right click, enter. For now, I want to show here zoomed area and in this area, I want to show here my full viewport and in this corner, upper left corner, I want to show the zoomed area. So what I will do, I will first make a circle. This is the one, I will move it in the corner at 3, 4, Object snap, I will say OK, and here, and move again, over here, fine. My viewport, I must set it like this REC enter from here up to here, and I want to deduct this area from my viewport, right? So let's see, O enter, copy this one and this one. Copy it here. Let's say B O enter. Okay, let's click here. Move it. This will be my one viewport, and this will be my second viewport. Got it? Delete whatever I have previously. Move it over here. And move this one also over here. Now I will say M V enter make viewport. Asking specific corner, I I will say object. It's asking select object to click viewport. Let's say this one. This is my viewport. I just in this area all area I want to show this area zoomed over here again I will say M V enter and from here I will select object flip circle this is showing here right I will zoom this much and I will lock this one from here and this viewport also from here. Here you see, it's looking nice and it is very visible very nicely. You just snap it from the center and I'll make a circle. This circle I will send it to model scale. Let's click here, activate the viewport enter this one and enter see this that circle is in the model view I will just show one polyline showing that this area is zoomed over here give it some thickness like this one this one so blue and and 
to enter I will make the title block you can enter your name here drawing name drawing number addition sheet number fail date delete all things you can set over here next thing if you want to go to control P and select your printer I will, in my case I will select Adobe PDF and I will set A3 and to window upper right and upper lower left okay, center the part stick to paper we we'll say 1 mm equal to 1 mm not fit to k so we we'll see preview this is my drawing and it will be on the scale see it's looking nice right i'm showing this full area and then i am zooming this much area in my drawing and it is very clear right say escape or if you want to make a print just click ok in my case I don't need to next thing you can do is go to viewport unlock it and change the scale in this, uh, this case I will say 0.1 so it will be 1 is to 10 scale and this one I will unlock <coughs> sorry this one I, I will unlock and I will say system scale will be 1 so it will be 1 is to 10 and this will be 1 is to 100 I'll show it here now if you want to see the preview it will look nicely this is how we can make a viewport and th this is how we can make multiple viewports in a single drawing you can see it, it looks nicer it looks very uh, pretty and it is a nice presentation of your uh, professional drawings uh, thanks for watching my video